little VFA right here. This is from Rails. It sure is it's pretty decent quality there. A little too much cooling. Too far off the bed. So I've got this uh, worm gear extruder and boy this has been a pain in the butt right here let me tell you. So with this, these SLM parts they don't come in exactly to the measurements you give them. I had some discrepancy here in some of the thickness of this part and also this right hand upright for that gear. I was shaving the filament so I have, after modifying the uh, filament guide three different times with the Dremel I still had it, it at first it was shredding filament and then after I cleaned up this uh, filament path in here better I added uh, nice chamfers to the to the entry so that that filament could kinda if it leaned over it wouldn't get the edge I ran some valve grinding compound also on the inside. That still didn't fix it, but it, it went from strings coming off, little shavings, uh, like sh long strings too, and they'd get all wound up and everything. I'd take it apart. So after about the third try, I was getting dust, and then I examined more the uh, alignment or the distance of this door or this filament guide to the gear itself. So the gear is a little undersized than than what's in CAD for this gear. This thickness was was bigger by uh, 0.25 millimeters, and then on the inside here it had another 0.25 millimeter. And uh, now it's not making any dust in there. So there's no dust, no shavings. Um, so that's this is one of a few tests I got the moon's motor on here this is only heating up to around 42 45 right now um, but it's not closed chambered uh, so it's about 42 right now before I would if this was plastic it would just melt it uh, now it's cool so there's a lot of aluminum here to take away that that heat I had a radiator made for this but I made the fins way too small and they couldn't get a lot of air through there so I just turned this part on a lathe and I'm using it as the guide and also just for a little bit of heat removal um, so need to get a strain relief here this is not going to last too long hanging in the breeze there uh, but overall, this is a pretty, pretty thin little package here. This is pretty small extruder, uh, but it is pretty heavy. That that motor is heavy. That is a 20 millimeter Moons, and it is heavy. Uh, it's flowing. This here is flowing 85 right now. Well, I, I tested it up to 85, and it passed. Um, it maybe it can go more. It's not going to go much more than that. I I know I'm, it's going to give out around 90. So, well, at least I think anyway. Um, so, it's it's a humming. So we'll test it some more, um, and see what it does. But that's the uh, worm drive with the uh, moon's motor on its back to lower the center of mass. Uh, we have a very concentric gear set up here, so it shouldn't produce uh, well, shouldn't produce artifacts. I hope it doesn't. I did the the wood grain test with it. Um, it came out pretty decent, actually. I don't see an issue with it. So anyway, I'm going to play with this a little bit and see if I see how I like it. See if I like it better than a traditional. You know, extruder, or if we'll just keep this uh, SLM printed uh, worm drive called the Worminator. See you later.